Xanadu Quantum Technologies, a photonic quantum computing startup based in Toronto, is preparing to go public via a SPAC merger with Crane Harbor Acquisition Corp. NASDAQ, ticker symbol CHAC. The deal values Xanadu at about $3.6 billion and will make it the first pure play photonic quantum computing company listed on the NASDAQ. The merger is expected to raise roughly $500 million for Xanadu, including a $275 million pipe private investment in public equity from investors like AMD and major asset managers. Gaining access to U.S. equity markets via the SPAC allows Xanadu to secure a large capital infusion in one go. This move has flown somewhat under the radar, but it represents a transformative milestone bringing a cutting edge quantum computing player into the public eye. In this deep dive, we'll explore Xanadu's key technical milestones, its photonic technology architecture, current business proposition, future roadmap, and how it stacks up against competitors like SciQuantum, Orca, and other quantum firms. At its core, photonic quantum computing uses particles of light, photons, as qubits. This approach offers some intrinsic advantages for scaling quantum machines. Room temperature operation. Xanadu's photonic qubits are encoded in light. For example, in squeezed states of photons traveling through optical circuits, photons do not readily interact with the environment, which means they naturally preserve coherence and are less prone to noise. Photonic quantum computing architecture allows for modularity and networking. Photonic quantum computers can be scaled by networking multiple modules using optical fiber. Photonic quantum computers realize error correction efficiency. A critical challenge in all quantum modalities is error correction, encoding a logical qubit redundantly into many physical qubits to overcome errors. Xanadu claims that its photonic approach requires up to 10 times fewer physical qubits for error correction compared to other qubit technologies. Photons can travel and interact at light speed and optical components can switch rapidly, which suggests photonics quantum gates could operate at very high rates. Moreover, using time multiplexing techniques, where many qubits are represented at different time bin pulses, Xanadu was able to manipulate a large number of modes, 216 qubits in Borealis. Of course, photonic quantum computing has its challenges too. Photons don't naturally interact with each other. Making two qubit gates is tricky, often relying on probabilistic operations. Let's cover some key technical milestones. Despite flying somewhat under the radar compared to giants like IBM and Google, Xanadu has achieved impressive technical milestones in quantum computing dating back to 2022. They had their quantum advantage with Borealis in 2022. Xanadu became the first quantum startup to demonstrate quantum computational supremacy advantage using a photonic system. Its 216 qubit Borealis photonic processor completed a complex boson sampling task in just two minutes, a computation estimated to take the world's fastest supercomputer 7 million years. In early 2025, Xanadu unveiled Aurora, touted as the world's first networked, modular, and scalable quantum computer. Aurora linked multiple photonic quantum modules into a single system, effectively networking quantum processors, a key step towards scaling. Importantly, Aurora also marked the first demonstration of a real-time error correction decoding algorithm in photonics. Since its founding in 2016, Xanadu is focused on photonic quantum computing that operates at room temperature. All of its breakthroughs, Borealis, Aurora, run without cryogenic cooling or vacuum chambers. This is a stark contrast to superconducting qubit systems like IBM, Google, and Rigetti, which require dilution refrigerators near absolute zero or trapped ion systems needing ultra-high vacuum and lasers. By eliminating cryogenic, Xanadu's photonic devices can be more compact and energy efficient. They also lead in software with Penny Lane. In addition to hardware milestones, Xanadu has significantly contributed on the software side. It developed Penny Lane, an open source quantum machine learning and programming library, which has become one of the most widely adopted quantum software platforms globally. By some reports, up to 47% of quantum programmers have used Penny Lane, and it integrates with all major quantum hardware. So a few months ago, I had the opportunity to interview Richard Murray of Orca Computing, the CEO of Orca Computing. He was at Quantum Plus AI in New York. And Orca Computing is also working in photonic quantum computing. And this is where I started to get some exposure and learn more about this promising modality. So every quantum computing modality comes with its own strengths and weaknesses. It's almost like it's hard on purpose. 
Photonics quantum computing is particularly interesting to me because of the fact that we are actually manipulating photons, little particles of light, and using those to do computation. Xanadu specifically is interesting to me because when I first started covering this space last year, one of the first articles that I saw was Xanadu had introduced Aurora, the world's first scalable networked and modular quantum computer. And this was just weeks after Jensen Huang had said that quantum computing was 15 to 30 years away. And this was a really important milestone. And Aurora consisted of 35 photonic chips and combined 13 kilometers of fiber optics, all operating at room temperature. Xanadu and Hyperlight unveiled groundbreaking advances in photonic chips, setting new benchmarks for quantum computing performance. Another thing that's really interesting to me about Xanadu is that AMD is an early pipe investor in this company. And we know that there's a connection to AMD already via IBM. IBM showed in November, I believe it was of 2025, that they could use AMD chips for basically error correction. So now we have AMD directly investing in Xanadu. So this is a big bet from AMD on Xanadu and they must like what they see about the current state of te technology and AMD wants an ownership stake in this company. So I think that is a super interesting part of the story. Xanadu is expected to become the first and only publicly traded pure play photonic quantum computing company via business combination with Crane Harbor Acquisition Corp. So similar to what Inflection is doing. And we can see over 90% of the upsize and oversubscribed pipe capital will be new money, strategic and institutional investors, including AMD, BMO Global, CIBC, MMCAP, Planet First, and Polar Asset Management. Xanadu also advanced to stage B of DARPA's quantum benchmarking initiative, securing up to $15 million in funding. So this was exciting news for them. November of 2025, also a validation potentially of the usefulness of their approach because DARPA is pretty stringent on who they let forward in the QBI. Xanadu has pioneered the use of quantum computers in photodynamic cancer therapy research, and this was in December of 2025. Xanadu is a leading photonic quantum company that has developed a novel quantum computational framework to accelerate the discovery of next generation cancer therapy, a targeted cancer treatment. And this is one of the use cases I'm personally most excited about with quantum computing is what they can do to find novel cures or vaccines for cancer or very tough illnesses that we face. Xanadu, Rolls-Royce, and River Lane unlock dramatic improvements for applications to jet engine airflow simulations using quantum computing. We saw that article in November of 2025. A little bit earlier in the year, Xanadu and AFRL, the U.S. Air Force Research Laboratory, partnered to advance photonic quantum technologies. We have so many things going on with Xanadu. And another important thing is that photonics itself is just a very hot topic in computing and networking in the hardware space right now, because a, there's a lot that can be done with photonics. So full disclosure, I'm an investor in Xanadu. I was excited that they came to the public markets. I've been a little bit confused why a company like Inflection has got so much more attention than a company like Xanadu, but I do understand that Inflection has made a commercial first approach and money talks in this industry. Xanadu to me is working in a very promising modality and it looks like they have a path to potentially building a utility scale quantum computer. So very exciting. By around 2028 to 2029, Xanadu expects to have a universal photonic quantum computer with on the order of 100,000 physical qubits, yielding about 1,000 logical error corrected qubits. On the front of scaling up qubit count, Xanadu will need to grow its photonic qubit counts from the few hundred demonstrated in Borealis to many thousands or more. This likely 
means deploying more parallel protons, more modes, and more modules. They need to improve gate fidelity and error correction. Demonstrating an error correction code in real time on Aurora was a start. Next, Xanadu will aim to close the error correction loop. Integration and chip fabrication. While Xanadu has used a lot of off-the-shelf optical components and custom setups, moving to a more integrated photonic chip platform will be important for stability and manufacturability. Timeline and risk. The target of a useful large scale quantum computer by 2028 20, to 2029 is extremely aggressive. It aligns with optimistic predictions from other companies. Even Google has quantum commercial applications could arrive within five years. Microsoft recently claimed new breakthroughs, but quantum years, not decades away. Xanadu may not yet be a household name, but its impending entry into the public markets and its trailblazing work in photonic quantum computing make it a company worth watching closely. With a SPAC bankroll and a clear technological vision, Xanadu is betting on light to win the quantum race. The next three to five years will determine if Xanadu can stay ahead of the competition and realize its bold roadmap. For now, Xanadu is poised to be the first photonic quantum computing stock you can buy, and it brings a compelling story. Lasers and photons solving problems that even the biggest supercomputers cannot. It's a story of innovation at the frontiers of physics and engineering, and one that is now moving from the lab to the marketplace. In a field often dominated by big names, Xanadu's journey illustrates how a focused startup can fly under the radar and yet accomplish world first. As the quantum computing revelation accelerates, Xanadu will either become one of its leading lights or serve as an instructive lesson, but either way, it's about to have its moment in the spotlight.